Welcome back to IO, I'm Charlotte Dobre. I'm Jared Brownstein. So a few days ago, we did a video about a CNN reporter eating human brains. And it appears a lot of people who watched it were, well, triggered? Triggered. There were some points we felt necessary to clarify, so this is an update video on that story. So for those who haven't seen the video, CNN reporter Reza Aslan ate a piece of cooked human brain while he was interviewing a group of religious extremists in India called the Aghori. Aslan likely felt pressured into eating this piece of human brain by the Aghori guru, who later told Aslan that he would cut his head off if he quote, kept talking so much. Many criticized Reza Aslan for the way he presented the segment, saying that it portrayed all Hindus as uncivilized and that it even perpetuated Hindu phobia. This was said even though it was said more than once that the Aghori is a small group of extremists, and the show itself documents extreme religions. Cannibals exist in the world, you can't deny that they don't. It's something that hasn't really been documented fully, and that's what the show was trying to do. But like all things, there will be people who misinterpret the point. One thing we did not mention in our previous video is that the segment, called The Believer, documents extreme religions. The rest of the segment that caused such controversy showed the beautiful parts of Hinduism as well. Hinduism is an extremely peaceful religion. Some of the fundamental practices of Hinduism include meditation and yoga. And above all things, Hindus refrain from injuring living beings. So when I say that Hindus wouldn't hurt a fly, they probably wouldn't. A large chunk of practicing Hindus are vegetarians. Alright, we're going to respond to some comments that we felt relevant to bring up. Itali Castellan said, honestly, the only real controversy here is because of the time period we are currently in. He made it clear what he was doing, the specific population, and documentaries like this are informational, not persuasive. Sure, what was shown was extreme, but like you said, that's kind of the point. I think it's cool. I think it's cool too. Like, I'm not gonna go and be like a cannibal now, but I just think it's interesting that people believe in that. Trigger button, trigger, trigger, trigger. Yeah, I think it's just, it just shows ways of life for other people. I mean, we can't be like, that doesn't exist. Those are people, they do yeah, that. They like, do it's exist. not, we can't, we can't just be like, I don't wanna believe it, so it's not true. All right, and last comment comes from Alpha Z. The fact that nobody is talking about the other half of the show that showed how beautiful Hinduism is and how they help other people. Even the crazy Agori guru had a message. I thought the episode was wonderful. I know most people haven't watched the whole episode, yet they are commenting. On it. Yeah, before you guys form an opinion, you should really like know the whole story and maybe watch the full episode. It's easy to get triggered when you cherry pick. Kind of like what you guys do to our videos about pretty much anything when you just say that we're wrong based off of that. Hey guys, I'm Jared, and you're like, Trump didn't do this. And I'm like, oh, okay. You know what I mean? Watch the whole thing. Read the whole thing. Bro. Get informed. Anyways, guys, yeah, this is officially my last video at IO. This is last video. So I think this is very necessary. Yeah. <laughs> Try not, try not to cry. Uh, Don't cry. Uh, Don't worry, guys. I super glued him to the ground. You're stuck. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, it's been a pleasure. I love you so much. Check out my personal channel, which is my name, social media app, Front7. I got to take off my boots now so I can leave. See ya.